I'm here with Brian Garrett Glazer. Brian, I wonder if you can speak to the proposition that Joby has within the EV toll space. So we've been working for many, many years to design, prototype, and now certify and manufacture a fully electric aircraft with a range of up to 100 miles that can carry a pilot and four passengers across cities, from airports to city centers, all sorts of journeys like that. And with our fully electric aircraft, we believe that we can begin to show the world what truly emissions-free aviation looks like. Who do you see as your customers? And do you anticipate taking a meaningful number of people out of ICE vehicles on the road? So we really see this as complementary with other forms of transportation. We're hoping to give people a taste of what's possible. And then we think that, you know, as technology matures, maybe better batteries, maybe hydrogen electric, we'll be able to do much more with all the technology that we've built here and really start to maybe expand the window of what is possible with truly clean uh, powertrain systems. Some people will say that this is a fancy helicopter. What would you say to that? There's a couple of key differences between helicopters and our aircraft. First, maybe most, uh, most importantly for a lot of people down below on the street is noise. Our aircraft is more than 100 times quieter than a helicopter. There's a lot of clever engineering that goes into the shape of the propeller blades, the overall design, the fact that we transition to fly on a wing. The other key element here is safety and redundancy. Helicopters have a lot of single points of failure. We're able to design an aircraft that has a lot more levels of redundancy throughout the propulsion system and really throughout everything that's safety critical. So we can lose a motor or an inverter or a battery pack or even an entire propulsion station mid-flight and we'll be able to continue safe flight and landing. The other thing here, of course, is cost and affordability. You know, a typical helicopter or GA aircraft with a, uh, with a, uh, a piston engine in it is going to have a lot of points of maintenance in that engine, right? And if any one of those fails and you need to take the aircraft down for maintenance, it's going to be, you know, it could be out of service for a day or two days or more while you're working on that engine. With electric propulsion, we have motors that we've designed that are direct drive motors with no gearbox means they have very, very few points of moving parts that are contacting each other that have to be maintained. And on top of that, if there is a problem with one of the propulsion units, you can just swap it out, get the aircraft back in the air and keep flying while you're working on that propulsion unit on the ground. What other sustainable aspects are there to the design of this aircraft? Batteries are a perfect example. We want to make sure that our batteries are going to last a long time and it'll be maybe years before we have to swap them out. And that's, of course, about recyclability and all of that. We've put a lot of work into the charging system that we use for this aircraft. So when the aircraft is on the ground and we're recharging, we know, you know what temperature band to keep the batteries within as we're charging and all of that so that we know exactly how to maximize that battery life. We design and, and test and build a lot of the parts in this aircraft from the composite structures to the, the propulsion motors to the batteries to the flight electronics and actuators to minimize weight, have exactly the functionality that we need and none of the functionality that we don't. But there's reason for that. It's because, of course, weight is so critical in aviation and doubly so when you're using batteries to fly people around. Joby has been in the EV toll space since 2009. What sets Joby apart from the other players? We've been testing this aircraft for quite a while. We've built multiple generations of full-scale prototypes. We've flown more than 33,000 miles, battery electric, vertical takeoff and landing. Uh, we're spooling up manufacturing. We've completed three of the five stages of FAA certification. And what that means is we have a really clear understanding of exactly what we need to do to demonstrate that we meet all the safety requirements. Now it's time to do it. It's time to test everything for credit with the FAA and give them the results and have them look at everything and hopefully give us that stamp of approval. We have a really solid path to market and I think that's what sets us apart. Brian, it's an amazing aircraft, an amazing proposition. Thanks so much for taking the time to speak to me today. Absolutely. Thank you.